right two things apologies for the picture quality and sound quality I'm having camera issues just now I got four cameras and three of them have issues the microphone's not working on my main one uh, there's an airplane above which you can probably hear but that's got nothing to do with anything um, so you know a couple of days bear with me and we'll have proper better cameras so yesterday we made this it wasn't this exact one it was similar and I was driving home and I thought wait a minute I should not have one bearing in the center because it's so thick I should have one on each side you know to sort of balance it out and make it smoother so that's what I'm doing today this is like the third attempt at like the world's chunkiest spinner but getting there so I started this morning of course with this and I've now done two sides of it so you can probably start with that it's not completely right angled, but it's not completely uh, beveled away anyway. But so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this to the other one, two sides, we'll have a vague cuboid type shape. Um not quite sure the exact dimensions yet, I'm just seeing how it mills and uh just sort of playing it by ear really. Now, if I am brutally honest, it's been a bit of a random day. I had to go and see my machinist. Uh, that took longer than expected. I had to go and pick up a bed for someone. That took longer than I expected. But, making progress. Um, it will be a shorter video than usual, but getting excited. This, uh, I'm using a different end mill. Two flutes instead of four flutes. I don't know if you need to know that, but I'm telling you that because I'm excited, because it's cutting really, really well. This is what the piece is looking like. This is one side. But I hopefully will have time to do in the rest of today. Um, it's, it's about six or seven at night now. I want to put it upside down, touch probe it, skim it around the outside, bore the same holes that I did on this side, and hopefully I've got like a chunky but somewhat irregular and kind of weird spinner. It is done. When I say done, I mean done enough to put the bearings in and know that it's square and all that. I'm still going to finish it. I think I'll do bevels and things like that. Maybe, I'm not sure. But certainly, for sure, the, the squarest spinner certainly I've ever seen. Um, even though it's quite solid metal, it's, uh, it's still titanium. It's still relatively light, which is kind of cool. So there's, there's the hole all the way through. This feels very smooth. It looks bumpy, but it's actually very smooth. The end here, I thought was gonna have issues. I thought there was gonna be steps, but 
a massive, oh, what's, what's going on with this camera? A massive, massive improvement over, over the steps in this one that I kept experiencing. So you can look at that. What a difference. So what we'll do is put a bearing in one side. Now the bearings are a little bit too loose, but I designed it that way because if I put a bearing in while I was machining and testing it and I got jammed, very unlikely I'm gonna get it out again. Second bearing. Oh, look at that. Now I've got these half made buttons. These are way, way, way too thick, but they will do for the purposes of this test. One in there. Yeah, that really is how far it sticks out. The other one in there. And you know what? There really isn't much wobble to that. That's amazing. There's, there's something there. There is a wobble there, I can feel it, but... You know what? Where's my goggles? Here they are. <laughs> That's the funny thing, when you wear glasses all day and they sit on your head, you take them off at the end of the day, until you go to bed, it feels like you got your glasses on. That's why I thought they were there. It's my excuse anyway. So... Now, if you're the observant type, you will notice how fast this slowed down. For something with so much mass, it should slow down a lot slower. It's simply because the bearings are old and knackered. That, that really is it. There's no other, um, no other reason than that. I've had these bearings in and out. The bearings are full of cutting fluid because I, yeah, they're just wrecked. So it's pretty well balanced. I'm very pleased with that. A few more uh, things to go, but yeah, I think, I think the next video will be, will be the end of this. Um, we'll get proper buttons done and things like that, but I was expecting it just to be a, a really quick and dirty kind of thing I do in a day and that's it and I throw it away again, like literally throw it away. But after sort of spending time getting this right, you know, getting, the, getting it just well, sort of getting it done properly, it being pretty damn well balanced, I'm like, I'm gonna make some proper buttons, tumble it and, and make it into a proper spinner and that's gonna be, gonna be my spinner, my first spinner that I've machined on that. Um, which, I know I keep going on about this milling machine, but if you've been watching for the last few weeks, this is a new machine. I've never done machining in my life. It's all just the most magnificent learning experience uh, ever. And yeah, that's why I keep talking about it. I will of course leave you with a quote. It is by Wes Roberts. And he said, anyone who doesn't make mistakes isn't trying hard enough.